consider making Yaya Bello as the first minister. APC Chief Tintens Tinubu. Hey! Make Yaya Bello defense minister. Hey, what is he going to do? How he take where this army unit from in the first place? Now, what for these people? Oh? Eh? So, how, how make Yaya Bello defense minister? We are saying that even the Matawali that they made defense minister is a mistake and it's a bad egg. You want to call off with Yaya Bello? Nah. Nigeria don't finish you. Political, how do I put it? Political criminals and jobbers have taken over everywhere. A chief of the All Progressive Congress APC, Chief Moritala Audu, has called on President Bola Metunugu to consider appointing the immediate past governor of Kogi State, Yaya Bello, as defense minister in his bid to tackle growing insecurity in Nigeria. Oh boy. So in a statement on Thursday, Audu called for a strategic reshuffling of President Tinubu's cabinet. While recommending Bello for the crucial position of Minister of Defense, Audu cited that young uh, former two-term governor's exceptional track record and unwavering determination in tackling security issues. Recall that Yaya Bello was noted to have done very well as governor of the North Central State to the point that the state was rated the safest in the entire North region. His tenor during his tenor, can you imagine? Audu, who is the Ari Atulose or Atulose or Moloabi Odua worldwide, said that the immediate past governor has some ingenuity in tackling insecurity. So, in the wake of escalating. Security threats will must emphasize the need for a leader with a proven competitive uh, capacity to combat these challenges head on. He said, Audu, who applauded Bello's tenor as governor of Kogi, said the former governor has showcased remarkable leadership in significantly reducing criminal activities within the state. So one of the distinguishing features of Yaya Bello's approach is his unparalleled fact-finding capacity. Is that Bello has consistently demonstrated the ability to identify and address the root cause of insecurity, employing diplomatic skills and leveraging resources to eradicate threats effectively. This guy will go and negotiate with bandit. I tell you. Bello's exceptional leadership qualities, dedication to the welfare of the people, and his strong moral com compass are all noteworthy, the APC chieftain said. So according to him, Bello's track record makes him the ideal candidate to lead the defense ministry and spearhead the nation's fight against banditry and insurgency. Can you imagine? Aare Odudua stressed that the appointment of Yaya Bello requires a collective decision by the Nigerian government. So he urged that um, political interests and sentiments be set aside in favor of the paramount goal of national security. I believe that placing Bello in such a critical position is a pragmatic and strategic move to ensure the safety and well-being of Nigerians. Hey, so Yaya Bello will be in charge of security of Nigerians. Banditry and insurgency have inflicted lasting damage on communities and claimed innocent lives for far too long. I urge the government to take decisive action and prioritize the right ladder, uh, the right leader for the role, he said. According to him, Nigeria's future depends on visionary leaders capable of eliminating the scourge of banditry and insurgency. So with Bello, I believe the nation has found a leader ready to take on this monumental challenge, I would have said. Oh boy. So you urge the government to make the right choice and save Nigeria from the abyss. <laughs> this one now serious one to make uh, Yaya Bello the Minister of Defense. That is, you know, Make, giving giving half of city half of Nigeria to bandits, that is the truth. That is the truth. Huh. When are we going to get better people to run the affairs of Nigeria? God will help us. I will say, God punish that person that bring this idea. All the kidnapping point. 
okay point in kogi state so what is the writer talking about let him come out from his hidden place let him first finish his case with efcc exactly he has a case of almost is it 80 billion naira that he has with efcc with his brother let them go and finish it yeah yeah below don't need an appointment but rather needs accommodation in kuji prison <laughs> Abi, he needs accommodation there in kuji prison where he will not pay rent he will not he will not need security i get this country need to change the name from nigeria to federal republic of comedy i'll be smart you know this person that made this suggestion is just a simple comedian i tell you hmm it wasn't a comedian yaya Bello of all people how secure was his state when he was a governor that's the question how about okay now now chief or thief of army staff they go give up <laughs> now the chief or thief of army staff hey god yaya Bello is into terrorism and kidnapping in the middle belt he can never be a defense minister those that are agitating for him should be checked very well if possible they should be arrested because they have evil plans that is what you know you want to harm nigeria the more abi appointing criminal as a defense minister hmm, nigeria brainless hungry politician defense minister is for s security men not for bloody corrupt civilians they don't give up with Ibello, i am overconfident of victory over insecurity he is not biased based on, rel on religion he will effect effective change immediately in the field okay oh, we hear you we hear you because may the writer's life be like present predicament of kogi state what a joke taken too far yes so that's a joke taken too far to complete the routing from state to federal, see Oga, we are fed up with clueless recycling. If you people like bring back Buari, we will be looking like we have been doing since. Is it not eight months since they said a Milokon and we will still we are still looking? Uh, madness, why do you think he should be appointed as a defense minister? This is a man wanted by EFCC, and you are here campaigning for him. I'm telling you, it doesn't make sense. So that campaign not go work. That campaign not go work. Yeah, yeah, go of one person as a defense minister. That means the military is finished. Hi, right. now, wow. The army generals will say this and they will get angry. It's like they should take over the country. Bloody civilians, because they are politicians <clears throat> in position of authority, are just coming to dictate for the military anyhow because of constitution. Man. That's bad. Can you imagine somebody like Mat uh, Bello Matawale now is now having meeting with security chiefs and the generals and defense headquarters, eh? Reporting to him. Oh, nah. Go help this country. So thank you for listening and let's have your comment as well for sharing.